Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can make an uh, amazing UI like this one simple and um, and uh, be attractive at the same time so you can take the idea for someone who is beginner and uh, use this idea inside his app so it will be more easier for him to make like four buttons like this one and uh, mixing colors so let me just think about before i start uh, doing that uh, we told him you i want to tell him you this app i'm working right now about it is an IPTV app which allowing the people to watch in uh, channels live streaming like uh, sport channels you know channels who people watching score uh, basketball whatever sport they like to watch so if you want me to make a full series about uh, this app and how you can make one i will make this series for you guys just let me comment in the description okay so let's get started so first of all i'm not going to wear the whole code because this is going to take a lot of time so i already make the code so i will just share the code with you in uh five in the description you can download it and use the code but let me explain how this code works so First of all, guys, you have to go to um, layout and you create in your. Okay, you have already created your layout. So after you show in the layout that you want to work in on it, you can edit a logo on the top, right? Like this one. So before you go to make a logo, many people, uh, beginner people, go uh, like get these mistakes. So before you go and do anything here, you have to make sure you have editing a white background or whatever color background that you want inside this layout. So it's going to be having a color because if you did not do that, it's going to be black and you're going to see and you're going to have in like a mistake and keep saying why that happening to me and you get mad so i don't want you to get mad <laughs> so here guys you have to make sure and keep in mind that you go to relatively out on the top right here then you go to edit android background and you give it color and white the color so in general it's going to be white but you can edit whatever color that you want so you go back to you and you go back to your application then you have you can edit uh, you can edit this image right here as an icon uh, matching to your idea of your app so all you have to do you can edit image view then you can edit uh, this this code right here so under the layout is going to be web content so because it's going to be higher taking like i mean taking uh whole the space like that and you can give it like 215 dp for the height so you can give it whatever space that you want but uh, to make it like 215 dp will be uh, perfect because it's going to be in the, the center and it's going to give the logo as uh, its dimension so it will be nice So after that, you have to give it uh, an ID. Of course, you have to give an ID for your image. And yeah, so you can use it later when you start uh, scripting in the JavaScript, in the Java, in your activity. Then, you have to create in a linear layout. Okay, you have to create a linear layout because inside the linear layout, you are going to edit the button that you want. So in general, I edit um, two buttons inside one laner layout. So how you can do that, you simply create laner layout. Then inside laner layout, you give it in match, parent, and work button. Then you give it margin top, you give it to 100 and 
margin left to give it one handle and the layout center horizontal you give it two so that means it's going to be in the center and it's going to be giving this dimension right here this third dimension like this correct space and in the end you have to edit under with organization horizontal so it's going to stay in like a horizontal not vertical see what i mean guys and after that after you starting getting and making your button you create in a button and you give it an id then you give it the dimension of your button is go back to you so in my case i make it like 120 120 then margin 20 20 so it, 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 it go back to you how you want the button look like so i will show you how you can edit the color for this so simply you have to go to the volume and inside the volume you find the colors and you have to open the colors then here here you have to edit the color that you are going to work in with so you can edit wherever the color that you want but if if you want making like rgb color mixing colors two colors in the same time that's what i did uh, for for these buttons like two colors so you have to create in the two colors you can get this uh, code for colors from multiple websites you can find them and after you get the color you edit the, the code of the color here and you give it a name like me i give it start color and end color you can give it whatever name that you want and after that after after you create you create in these two colors that you want to make them mix in together so simply you have to go to drawable you go to drawable and inside drawable you click right click and you go to new then you go to drawable resources file and you can give it a name right here like me i give it a uh, gradient one and you click on ok so after you do that it's going to create an, a folder like this one for you but it's going to be blank without anything so here you can you need to change the, the the color right here i mean sorry you have to change the script so let me show you here you go to drawable new drawable resources you create some drawable then you give it uh, whatever name you want like that whatever name then you click ok ok right so here is going to be selector as you see so you have to make it this uh, shape ok so you have to make it shape like this and and after you make it uh, on shape mode you can start creating your uh, color so you can give it the name that you 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 give it to your uh, XML file here then inside the name you give it this code right here so it's going to be in general typing la laner and in the angle it's going to be zero because we want the light to be in the center and here the start color and the end color so this the start color and the end color this color that's the name that you give it to them so you can edit the, the names right here then you give it the code the same code and in the end so let me show you something because here to do not have any mistakes guys um, when you creating guardian gradient uh, gradient and when you close it it's going to give you this uh, I don't know how you how you call that but whatever so it's going to give you this so if you type in any code right here it's not going to work and you're going to say why it's not working so what is the problem so this, the problem is simple you have just deleting that you see okay so I, I need to delete everything because uh, like we 
we make an error inside the code so whatever so as is, i say you have to delete it and inside you where is this uh separate code right here so you can mix in the mix in the colors that you want then how you can use this color after he is inside drawable after you creating this color inside drawable how you can use it you simply go to your mine activity where you want to edit the button and inside the button not relatively up inside the button so so look here it's a laner layout and here is the button inside the button we want to change the color of the button so what we do we type in under with background and we give it double and we give it the name that we are creating here inside xml file so after we give it the name he's going to automatically giving you the background color inside this button but sometimes you are going to see the color is not disabled inside the button and you're going to say why it's not working. So in this case, it's simply you have to go to um, you go to themes right here, then you go to themes XML, the first one, and here in the style you need to change this and you make it on theme app compat day night uh, new action bar or you can give it action bar wherever that you want but in the general and the necessary thing you have to change that you, you have to make it like this theme app compat day night no action bar so after you do that in the themes the theme uh, the themes this one and they are a second one he is the theme.icml and they are two columns right here as you see and say night so you have to click on this also and you just um, copy the first this this and you edit it to the night also so it's go it's going to be the same and keep in mind that because if you did not do that your color is not going to disable inside your button and you're going to say why it's not working the color why it's not working so this is the reason why the color is not working if you did not do that your color is not going to be, be working inside your button not going to be disabled right here also you can change in the color of your text you simply here you have the text okay after text you can change the color of the text right here and the color of the text is going to be under with text color color and you give it whatever color that you want like um give it weight right here and the size of the text you can change it right here like i have it i give it 13 dp so it's simple guys for the beginner people who don't know how can disable these uh, buttons uh, and give it color to be nice ui so you can always play with the design and make changements. So I just want to share the idea for the beginner people so they can understand what is going on here and how can they change the, the UI for uh, the app if they want to use like four buttons uh, like this and disable them in the same layout and give them uh, colors. So I will leave this code in the description and you can use it guys okay so hopefully this video helpful and see you in the next video have a nice day